The timekeepers took your lives from you. From all of you. Your variants. We're the same. Show me. Good, everybody. To get it's get into your it, yeah. We're watching a brand new episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. And joining me, as always, are my co-hosts, Rebellious D and Trav. How you fellas doing today? Look, bro, you done pissed them off, D. Ready to go. I'm ready to rock. You made my man angry. So, yeah, so um, let's get into this. This is episode four of Loki. Um, you know, we're going to do the review like we normally do. But before we get into it, make sure that you like this video, you subscribe to the channel, and you hit that bell button so that way you're always notified when we have new content here on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. So, uh, guys, I watched this episode. Now, before I watched it, I saw that IGN gave it a 5 out of 10. And mm. when I watched the episode, I was just like, well, I thought it was a pretty good episode. I thought it was better than last week's episode. Um, how did you feel about it, D? Um, I actually thought it was, it's moving in the right direction. I mean, I think this is what we all thought was going on once they, they announced she was a variant of Loki. And then, you know, spoiler alert, we get into her backstory, which mm -hmm. they pulled her out when, at a young age and she was able to escape. I mean, it was, um, I liked it. I think it's trending in the right direction. It's a lot better now. Four yeah. episodes in. Well, look, you know, I'm the one that brings up IGN. I, I bring up IGN and all the, uh, what do we call it? show boldness as mm. some people would show like boldness. show boldness show boldness <laughs> and yeah once again ign on that bull crap bro yeah, you can't nah. say yeah you gotta oh i it said PG. it yeah. no hell no nah. he said you gotta go take that out shit gotta say it on that one because it's more than bull crap mm -hmm. it's bs bro they, they be wild and bro this episode was fantastic dude yeah it's definitely yeah. trending in the right direction yeah it was definitely my favorite episode out of the three that we've had so far mm -hmm. um just because we got the backstory on uh the female loki you mean um, four uh what did i say mm -hmm. three no i mean yes didn't i say that this episode was out of the three that three? we've gotten Oh yeah, you said out, out of the four. Yeah, that's four, right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. It's all good, man. But Keep no, driving. um, but no, I, you know, I just really enjoyed this. Um, I feel like because this character hasn't been introduced in the MCU yet, mm -hmm. I feel like that the female Loki is going to be the Enchantress, hmm. and I feel that uh, they're going to bring that's your boy pick. back. Uh, I'm mad. I can't remember the actor's name. He's on the boys right now. And he, oh, was, the, uh, he plays the uh, executioner. Yeah, he That's plays his the character's executioner. Name. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. I, and I feel like that because now that we know that the TVA, like all, like everybody there is a variant. And they yeah. were pulled from, uh, you know, their, their different times and whatnot. I feel like that she's going to be an enchantress. So that way that you don't take that character away. Um, <clears> you know, the enchantress, she's one of those characters that. I've been waiting to see ever since the Thor movies came out. And She's kind of like a female Loki, like manipulating yeah. people and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's a good point, thanks. Yeah, so I'm 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 leaning towards that direction. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I thought it was cool that like some of the people in the TVA that they're finally uh, they're starting to see what's really going on. We also see the the Time Masters, and then we find mm -hmm. out that they're robots. So. I was uh, I was very confused about what was happening there. Not confused like like you know I'm confused about what's going on, but just confused as uh, so like what's going on now? Yeah. Like, like why are there why are they robots? Like we oh I knew that was gonna happen. We were I mean, led to believe that they were the masters of time. Yeah. Like, now I have a question for y'all too coming up. Thanks. Go ahead. Yeah, but before you ask that question, yeah, yeah. Trav, go ahead and say what you were saying and where you said that you knew that it was going to happen. Yeah, I knew that those were going to be like a conduit of some sort for mm -hmm. the actual timekeepers. I knew that these cats weren't just up there chilling at the top of the facility, kicking back, relaxing. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. knew when push came to shove 
that they was they was gonna be uh you know chuck it won't the real Chuck E. cheese you know what i mean that's performing yeah. you got the robots mm-hmm. yeah and then uh also too her name is sylvie that's yeah, what her sylvie. name is uh yeah i mean it's it's just interesting man like i said this is the thing that is kind of similar to wandavision it's like when when the ball starts rolling you know what i'm saying because it's like i feel like for the first three episodes uh you know they were they had a direction that they were going in but it's like i just wasn't feeling it like that but this episode it was definitely better than the other three that we already had gotten and um, i just can't wait to see what's going to happen next um it was something uh oh yeah mobius like mobius mm. is gone you know like they they took him out because you know he went and he questioned uh renslayer and she was pretty much lying about everything like she yep. knows she knows what's going on there and we see <laughs> that when after she kills loki and we see that sylvie she doesn't want to kill her because she has questions that she wants to see so d um before we get into this uh what were the two questions that you had i'm sorry well the, it was just one question i had for both y'all and it was just do you think it could have been put together a little bit better like do you think it would have been a good idea for them to drop more hints sooner mm-hmm. like as to alluding to sylvie being a variant or her origin is more of it do you think it would have been better if they had given us more hints throughout the first three episodes Instead of waiting until episode four to like show her backstory and starting with you, Banks. Okay. Um, I feel like that it was a good twist. Because, yeah. Because like when we first see her, like she's just a judge. And yeah. And it's like I didn't really think that um she had that much power and control. Uh and when we do finally see the reveal, uh, you know. I think that it was just a surprise you know what yeah. i'm saying and mm-hmm. you know sometimes it's it's good when they don't give us little uh clues and snippets that somebody may be the bad guy and yeah like now now that we know that she's the villain for this season mm-hmm. and because like i'm what i'm thinking is that she is the person that's running everything you know what i'm saying she's mm-hmm. the person who picked these people from these different timelines and uh she she's made she's made the world well not the world but the timelines into what they are it's just interesting that like we saw in the first episode they have all of the infinity stones there you know what i'm Mm -hmm. saying so it's it is a different uh (laughs) world that's outside of uh the regular timeline yeah and and it's like that's something that i like about it uh trav yeah yeah um i definitely don't think that she's the one pulling the strings personally i don't even think she really knows what exactly is going on she just knows yeah i think she just knows a little bit more than everybody else but i don't think she knows specifically what exactly is happening and to circle back um they they're not they're not killed Mm -hmm. um with the sticks like i never thought that anybody was killed i didn't know what happened deleted Cause they yeah, because they showed that in the first episode when Loki sees that dude and he's like <clears throat> he's mm-hmm. like, Oh snap, yeah. But I knew that they weren't killed. So yeah. okay. it's interesting to see what happens with these people once they get deleted from the thing well, or whatever and yeah. transported I, to wherever they're being transported. I wanna to. piggyback off of what you're saying right now, Trav, which is interesting because if she's not the one pulling strings, A, who is? And B, what is her significance? Why would they let her in on you know knowing more than or do you think it's like she got her memory back and she's just pretending i mean do you think she's just a pawn like you know i think she just moved up the ladder yeah so she's allowed to know what's going on yeah because remember in that flashback she used to just be uh kind of like an mib yeah 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 she used to be uh just a trooper yeah and you know she's moved up the ladder yeah i wonder what the significance is like like what made why did they select her or i mean i wonder if there's no right i wonder if there is a rhyme or reason to how she got where she got yeah, yeah she i guess is what i'm special. saying yeah like i mean maybe she does have some significance i don't know so thanks yeah i mean they, like I mean, why would they why would they like promote her why would why would she be privileged with knowing what's going on uh, I like, you know i like how um Y'all had brought up the MIE <clears throat> thing because, like, this is what I've compared this series to. Well, just mm-hmm. with the TVA, yeah, how they're just like the MIB and how they go to these different 
uh, timelines and they reset the timelines when uh, there's a variant there. And I mean, I feel like that that could be a possibility where mm -hmm. it's like she was just in the top of her class or something like that. And that's the reason why they chose her to be put in that position. Uh, I know we've seen that in like certain TV shows and movies where uh, like somebody just gets picked out of everyone. Uh, okay. Like uh, in My Hero Academia, for example, mm -hmm. Hawk, he is a double agent. You know what I'm saying? And he was a hero, but he was chosen out of all of the heroes to be a double agent and work with the, um, the League of Villains. So I, mm -hmm. I feel like it's one of those scenarios where it's like, they just chose her because they could have chose anybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, but that's that's just the theory that I'm going with. Um, something else that I wanted to touch on was when uh, when they arrest Loki and Sylvie, and they put Loki in a time loop with Sif. I thought that that was cool. <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was cool seeing her again. Now I can't remember. Uh, is she dead? Did she die? Yeah, I think again? they died. Yeah, all the little. Like, they're the, all the, dead. The okay, best so friends that anybody could ever have, yeah. yeah, they're gone. Yeah, they're all dead. Yeah. Okay, because it's like I don't remember seeing her being killed in uh, Thor Ragnarok. No. Yeah, they all got taken out. Okay. But yeah, I mean, it was cool seeing her. And then also, too, this makes the second time that she's appeared in a TV show. She was on uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in the first season. I remember mm. seeing her up there. So, uh, mm. see, it's like I always felt like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was going to be kind of like how these MCU shows are on Disney Plus, where it's like we were going to be getting cameos or connections with... Could have been uh, bigger stuff. if it had waited, you know, as ahead of its time just a little bit. I think that show would be very successful if it came out now. Oh, for sure. Too for early. Sure. Too early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then imagine, I mean, like, instead of having uh, Agent Coulson, you could have Jimmy Woo. Like, I would be down mm -hmm. with that. Oh, yeah, Jimmy you know, Woo, he... He's a good character, man. I think yeah, I like yeah, the uh, sense of humor and stuff like mm -hmm. that. It works. Yeah, it, and it's crazy because it's like when we're first introduced to him, he's just an FBI agent. And yeah, now, trying to learn the card trick. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But no, but uh, I you know I wanted to touch on that, and then there was something else too. Um, okay, so this was a question that I was thinking about when I was at the gym because we see that Loki <laughs> and Sylvie, uh, by them spending time together. Like there's somewhat of a romantic relationship there. So the question that I have for you guys, starting with you first, Trav, if there was a female Buckle version up. of Trav that was a time variant, would you would you catch feelings for? Her? If there's a girl version of me, yep. So like not. how Loki is catching feelings for Sylvie. Probably not, bro. <laughs> but I, I, that whole that whole question sound weird. So I mean, okay. yeah, bae, weird. Hey, before you get to be Banks, that's enough. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> and where is the Steve? I don't know. Oh, do hey, but we know Banks's answer. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, my Where you been all my life? Yo, it's, <laughs> but the, the only problem is that I feel like we will both argue on who's going to play Deku, and I'm just like, no, I have to be Deku. And she's gonna be like, no, I had to be Deku. But D, would you date yourself? Would you date the I female said version? That's enough. You said that's enough. You said no. Yeah. So no. So that means no. It don't mean no. I mean hell no. Yeah. Thank you, Trav. What mm. kind of question is that? I mean, a it's, bank's it, question. It's, yeah, it's a bank's question. You're the oh, reason yeah, I right? drink ginger beer now. So. <laughs> there we go. People like you. That, what do you mean by people like me? Like, oh, follow, subscribe. Mean. Oh, Jesus. That's right. Christ. Now, did you guys know that there was a mid credit scene? Yeah, of course. Yeah, come on. Yeah, okay. I actually did. I got spoiled a little bit. Yeah, I... Uh, it I it came it. up on my YouTube. Yeah, I was on Facebook earlier, and I had saw that there was a mid a mid credit scene. Because, you know, most of these shows, they you usually don't get the mid credit scene until, like, the fifth episode before the season mm -hmm. finale. So I, I thought it was cool how they showed all of the different Loki variants. I thought that that was cool. And uh, I just want to know, like, what's going to happen now? Because if Loki is still alive, that means that Mobius is still alive as well. And mm -hmm. it's like, do you guys think that how, you know, Loki, he encountered the different Loki variants? Do you think it's a possibility that there are different Mobius variants? Yeah, yeah they've already they've already confirmed this. No, there are. Yeah. 
What what episode did they confirm it in? Today's episode. Oh, I didn't even. I guess I missed that. They're all variants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn, bro, you got pay. You ain't been paying attention, bro. Man, I was at the gym watching it. On know what it is? Show. That's that's why you haven't liked the show for real. You ain't been paying attention. Oh no, I've been I've been paying attention. Oh. And, uh, Easy. I'm, I'm saying it's trending in the right direction. I'll say that much. The one thing I did like about the post credit was the uh, the shout out to the uh, classic Loki costume. Yeah, yeah. bro. The mixtape's uh, gonna be fire. I can no, already tell yeah. the mixtape's gonna be fire. <laughs> Heard that trash. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't wait to see it and just see what yeah. happens now. I need man. to see how it wraps up, man. Hey, I want to see where this is Hey, going. they rolled up with the pet crocodile with the crown. Mm -hmm. I oh, right. uh, <laughs> they, had, they had the whole team there. They had the whole squad. The DK crew. Hey, they say come with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So. Uh, something to something else that I was thinking about when I was at the gym earlier was when Sylvie and uh, B fifteen when they were together, and she told her that she was a variant, and mm -hmm. when she showed her the timeline that she came from, it just made me think about. Uh, that she was from the Lovecraft country timeline, and that's where she got pulled from. But right. it's like, when I was thinking about that, I was just like, dang, I mean, honestly, I would, would be happier being in this timeline than being in Lovecraft country, because there was a whole lot of stuff going on in that timeline. Too, but, too much going on. But look, here, here's the cool part, right? We got Rose from Lovecraft uh -huh. thrown in this. And it's already been confirmed that Kang is going to be in yes. Ant-Man mm -hmm. 3, Ant -Man. Yep. played mm -hmm. by Jonathan Majors from uh -huh. Lovecraft Country. Mm -hmm. And there's rumors speculating that Kang could be the mastermind behind this whole Ooh. TVA thing. So, that makes hey, it's sense. a, it's like a it. Lovecraft reunion yeah. right well, here you know, in the MCU, baby. You know what's interesting that you say that, Trav, is that uh, when they showed the uh, Time Masters, Mm -hmm. It's like their colors were like purple and yeah. and bluish, kind of mm -hmm. just like Kang. Like that's what like his face is blue, he is and blue. Then he has like the purple helmet. So I'm blue. That's, that's right. a possibility. And then also too, um, Ant Man and Wasp that could kind of lead into Fantastic Four in a way because I know that I believe Kang. Uh, mm -hmm. He first appeared in the he Fantastic first appeared Four in comics. the Fantastic Four comics. Yeah. That's so right. I mean. I, I love what they're in the direction that they're going right now. And I just can't hey, wait to see what's going to happen down the road. Hey, you know what else is crazy is um, the little girl that played Sylvie mm -hmm. is the same little girl that played Ray in Star Wars, mm -hmm. you know, when she was taken from oh, her wow. family. So oh, this wow. girl already, this little girl already got the credits of Star Wars and Marvel already under her belt. And she's like nine years old, bro. Yeah, honestly, I thought you was gonna say that she was the same girl who played Gamora in uh, Infinity mm. War. That's like, what did it cost you? Everything. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. So with that being said, uh, let us know in the comments what you thought about this week's episode. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Um, what do you think's gonna happen next? We only got two episodes left. Uh, my final rating for this episode, I'll give it a seven out of ten. Trav. Uh, yeah, yeah, I give it an eight. Eight out of ten. Nice, nice, nice. D. I'll rock, I'll rock with the 8 out of 10, too. Yep. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So uh, let everybody in social media land know where they can find you at, D. It's going to be rebellious, double underscore, D23, Instagram, dot com. Trav? Hey, that's right with the slam dunk, baby. That's right. No, my man, my man. On the Instagram already, you can find your boy at ZK Audio. You can find me on the Twitter at mm -hmm. T-R-A-V-I-O-S-Z-K. That's and of right. course, man, we got all these variants. Where can they find Variant Banks at? You can find me, your variant Benjamin Banks at King Benji underscore Banks on Twitter and Instagram. You can find me on Facebook at Benjamin Banks. I should be the first person to pop up. If not, then the female version of Benjamin Banks may be the first person to pop up. And if that does happen, then I need to contact Mr. Zuckerberg because I didn't know that there was a female version of Benjamin Banks in this universe. With that being said, thank you for watching this new episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. We'll see you next time. Stay positive. Keep that pinky up. We'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you for watching a brand new episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Make sure that you hit that like button and you subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button so that way you're always notified when we have new content on our channel. 
make sure you check out our podcast where we release new episodes every tuesday and the video of that episode is uploaded on friday and you can find new episodes of our podcast on all podcast platforms make sure you follow all the leveling up with benjamin bank social media accounts at leveling up banks on facebook twitter and instagram also, we have a Patreon. If you're feeling generous and would love to donate to us, it's at Leveling Up Banks. And huge shout out to our patrons. We really appreciate you and thank you for the support. We'll see you next time on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks.